Hello, this is Kelly and I'm the Mathematic Plumber and today let's talk about the fourth and final installment for the waterline sizing. This video is going to cover an interesting scenario where we're going to size a cold water pipe that supplies a hot water tank and a bunch of other fixtures. As discussed in a previous video, pipe O is the hot water pipe that comes out of the hot water tank and provides hot water to the whole building with 63.5 fixture units. That means pipe C, the water supply to the hot water tank, has the same amount of fixture units going to it. But if we look at pipe B, it is now supplying that hot water tank and a bunch of other fixtures. So how do we size pipe B? Well, first we need to consider the hydraulic load. So what we need to do is add up all the fixture units that are going to come out of the hot water tank and add it to any cold only fixtures that pipe B needs to supply. The cold only fixtures are the urinal, two water closets, and two hose bibs. So we are supplying 63.5 fixture units to the hot water tank. The urinal with a direct flush valve is 20 fixture units. The water closets are 2.2 fixture units each, and the hose bibs are 2.5 fixture units each. When we add those up, we get 92.9 fixture units. So let's size pipe B right up to that urinal. Let's look up the appropriate table from the last video. And we find out we are good with a one and a half inch pipe going right up to the urinal connection. Now let's look at that pipe between the urinal and the first water closet. Well, I had 92.9 fixture units and I'm gonna subtract off that 20 that go up to the urinal and I'm left with 72.9 fixture units. And once again, if I look up in the appropriate table, I will find out that one and a quarter inch is good enough for that. So now between the two water closets, we will have 72.9 minus 2.2 or 70.7 fixture units. And then when we go to the last little piece of pipe that is between the hot water tank supply and the last water closet, we're gonna subtract off 2.2 more fixture units. And so now we're left with 68.5. Both of those pipes will need to be inch and a quarter. But that's it, we're done. Of course, the burning question is, why? Why do we do this weird thing? So we have to look at this a different way. If we're looking at the three labs, the clothes washer, the hose bib, and the commercial kitchen sink, we've already counted hydraulic load for them with the hot water tank. But what we have not counted is those cold only fixtures. So that's why we needed to add that to them. And that's it. You have yourself a great day.